Tis the season for awesome trailers. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 trailers of December 2017. They're gonna be here after. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've ranked the best film, TV, and video game trailers released throughout the month of December. They went crazy. Or something in here killed them. Something's come through the fence. Through the fence? Number 10, Sicario 2, Soldado. How would you define terrorism? Denis Villeneuve's 2015 crime thriller about a covert FBI effort to take down Mexican drug cartels may have flown under a few people's radars, but it told a harrowing tale of violence and corruption while still netting a tidy profit. For those who missed it, we highly recommend going back and checking it out, because the sequel is forthcoming, and by the looks of this trailer, it's going to make for some must-watch cinema. You want to see this thing through? I'm gonna have to get dirty. Though Emily Blunt is sitting this one out, by the looks of this first trailer, Del Toro and Josh Brolin are plenty capable of carrying the film themselves. Atmospheric and tense, the trailer sets the stage for another gritty thrill ride of a movie. You gonna help us start a war with who? Everyone. Number nine, The Poker King. You're constantly on the road with the band. Mm. You've got the store, the mm. record label, the radio program. Jack Black's cinematic offerings are admittedly inconsistent. For every gem like School of Rock, there's sadly also a dud like Gulliver's Travels. Dayton, speak to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. <sighs> After watching this compelling first trailer, though, we're admittedly feeling cautiously optimistic about the Poker King. Based on a true story, it explores the exploits of Jan Lewin, a Polish immigrant turned massive American polka star who used his fame to exploit fans via a Ponzi scheme. Your invest have built all my business. You cannot go wrong with this man. It's a story that reaffirms the old adage that life is stranger than fiction, and based on reviews from its Sundance premiere that promise a somewhat absurd comedy, it looks as though Jack is back. It's America. We all get second chance. Number eight, Ocean's Eight. I just want to hold down a job, make some friends, you know, pay my bills. Holy freaking ensemble cast! We didn't think you could possibly compete with the star-studded offerings of Steven Soderbergh's Oceans trilogy, but in this all-female spin-off, director Gary Ross is certainly making a go for it. This is not your call. Oh, you made it my call. When you put her before us, you made it mine. This is my job. At the center of it all is Sandra Bullock, is Danny Ocean's estranged sister and fellow con, Debbie and joining the magnetic Miss Congeniality star, oh, you know, just the likes of Kate Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, Mindy Kaling, Sarah Paulson, Rihanna, Helena Bonham Carter, and rising star Aquafina. From the looks of this first trailer, Ross has managed to recreate the frenetic magic of Soderbergh's series, while giving his own undeniably fresh twist. Is it genetic? Are the whole family like this? Literally. Number seven, Sense8. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Sense8 lab. This series by the Wachowskis might not have generated the viewing numbers that Netflix wanted, but it managed to cultivate a passionate, dedicated fanbase of rabid viewers. And when Sense8 was cancelled after two seasons, those devotees rallied to make their voices heard. You want a war? We'll give you a war. Thankfully, this is one fan campaign that didn't fall on deaf ears, and Netflix greenlit this two-hour special series finale to give Sense8, its characters, and fans some much-needed closure. This first look is equal parts teaser, behind-the-scenes production video, and nostalgic retrospective. Not only will this first look get you pumped for the finale, but it'll remind you of why you fell in love with Sense8 to begin with. Yeah, I'm proud to be part of this and happy that we can give them an end that was satisfying. Number six, Death Stranding. Once there was an explosion. As graphics and computational power continue to improve exponentially, the line between the aesthetics of cinema and gaming grows ever thinner. With this trailer for the long gestating Death Stranding, which debuted at the 2017 Game Awards and stars Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen, that line has all but disappeared. I can't get you out. The cinematics are stunning, the narrative gripping, and the atmosphere almost too tense to handle. In addition to all the ways in which this game is visually remarkable, the concept feels equally fresh. Honestly, we would have enjoyed this as a simple short film, but given that it's a trailer for a game we'll actually get to play, excited is an understatement. Number 5, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. 
So, uh, what are you dating like an accountant now? Or? Owen. Ventriloquist? Stop it. You love a dummy. In 2015, this franchise came roaring back into the theaters with Jurassic World, proving it still had teeth enough to dominate the box office. And now, finally, we have our first look at the sequel. The filmmakers promised that this installment would deliver more dinosaurs than we'd ever seen before, and in this trailer alone, they've delivered. You know me. Things have changed on Isla Nubar, where the dinosaurs and Mother Nature have reclaimed the land. In a desperate bid to save the dinos from an imminent volcanic eruption, Owen Grady and Claire Deering put themselves in harm's way yet again. Based on this first look, it doesn't take long for them to find it. Number 4, Black Mirror. It's hard to imagine a bright future, but we can, and we must. Who's ready to be entertained, engaged, intellectually stimulated, and most likely made to feel anxious and uncomfortable? Charlie Brooker's hit anthology series is back for a fourth season, and in order to spread the good word and get you pumped, Netflix has released a whole barrage of trailers to remind you that this series is unlike any other. We meet again, Captain Daly! We're trapped! Jesus. I... For our purposes, we've selected the trailer for the entire season. Because, with everything crammed into just two minutes, this hectic sampling makes us really appreciate just how diverse the stories are that they're telling. Of course, for a better look at each of these unique tales, we highly recommend scoping out episode specific trailers as well. I've always loved you all. Number 3 Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Who knows if we'll ever get to see Miles Morales don the spider suit in the MCU, but giving him his own animated feature is certainly a good start. Voiced by up-and-comer Shamik Moore, who you may know from his roles in Dope and The Get Down, this film Spider-Man is faced with the daunting task of surviving adolescence while also filling the void left by Parker's death. In addition to a killer soundtrack, this trailer showcases an animation style that uniquely blends comic book style art with contemporary 3D animation. With Phil Lord and Chris Miller producing, and the Spider-Verse seemingly central to the plot, you can expect plenty of surprises. Wait, so how many of us are there? Number 2, Annihilation. Can you describe its form? Are you paying attention to Alex Garland? You really should be. After blowing away cinema-goers and critics alike with his directorial debut, Ex Machina, the filmmaker returns with what looks to be another breathtakingly original piece of cinema. Starring Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Leigh, Gina Rodriguez, and Tessa Thompson, Annihilation follows an expedition into a quarantine zone where the environment and creatures have clearly taken a sharp left turn. Terrifying, yet hauntingly beautiful at times, the trailer promises a thrilling ride, with a story and concept that grabs you and pulls you, desperate for more. Anything interesting in there? No. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Sabotage their plans, destroy their convoys and their guard stations. Our generation was meant to inherit the stars. And now I'm the last. The only surviving member of the House of El. What is that? That is London. Number 1, Ready Player One. My name's Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego. With this trailer, Steven Spielberg's upcoming adaptation of Ernest Cline's Ode to Geek Culture is shaping up to be one of the most exciting films of 2018. While the San Diego Comic-Con teaser felt like little more than a VFX highlights reel, this trailer provides the uninitiated with a better sense of our protagonist, Wade Watts, the world he inhabits, both real and virtual, and the odds he's up against in the quest for the ultimate Easter egg. A whole virtual universe. Of course, there are even more groundbreaking examples of CGI on display too, which, coupled with a compelling story, has us really hoping that this film lives up to its massive potential. Welcome to the Rebellion, Wade. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.